over yet, Miss Bennett? It's still early. Early? It's six o'clock. Five thirty. Out in bed this house. Maybe he's dead. I don't think he's dead, Miss Bennett. He's just not used to your schedule. When morning comes again to the Bennett household. It's not my schedule. It's the schedule of any right to be the one in. Miss Bennett. Oh. You're alive. I'm fine. What's wrong with your foot? Just uh, bumped it. If you can't navigate your own room, how can you expect to navigate the city streets? It was dark. Try the light switch. Mm, lights, that's much better. I'll just, uh, I'll shower and I'll be right down. Half the day is already gone. Oh. Oh. And if you plan to keep this job, you will need a pair of pajamas. Uh, oh, I, um, oh. Crime, crime, crime. That's all they write about anymore. Now, why? I ask you, why do I need to know that a woman in Wyoming shot her husband in cold blood? Well, it sells the papers, Miss Bennett. Oh. Uh, Something should be done about it. Maybe a letter to the editor expressing my disapproval. That should do the trick. Mm. Tabloid journalism. Useless information. this on a shelf in my closet. Is it real? It's like a game with us. I put them out, she hides them. There are a couple of more around here somewhere. Never thought I'd be working for a movie star. A star? Oh, don't let her hear you say that. Marion Bennett was an actress. She took it very seriously. Before she retired out here, it was her life. I is that why she never married? Oh, it's none of my business and none of yours if you're smart. Um, where's Miss Bennett? Miss Bennett has been tending the garden while you've been sleeping the morning away. Find of us for these, aren't they lovely? Well, are you ready at last? Ready for what? Ready for Tuesday. Bring the car around. Tuesday? Her life is built around rigid schedules. Laundry on Mondays, correspondence on Wednesdays, weekends at the beach house. You'll pick it up soon enough. Today is cross-country hiking. I'll leave it. Violent exercise. Straight up here. Keep going down. Are you all right? Oh, yes. No, it's just, uh, it's just unexpected. It wasn't in the job description. <laughs> There's a Christmas bonus mentioned in your job description. I get a Christmas bonus? Not necessarily. I meant to point out that everything in life is not covered in an employment contract. I think we'll set up over there. My paintings <laughs> seem to grow more abstract as the years go by. <laughs> What do you think of art, Mr. Landis? Do you know your Monet's from your Manet's? Well, I, I know that, uh, that one of them painted water lilies and... Mm -hmm. uh, and the and other one didn't. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so much to learn, so little time which to learn it. Jimmy taught me that. Jimmy? My brother, my brother Jimmy, killed in one of the wars. <laughs> they sent a box of his medals home, and that was that. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, there's no need. You remind me of him. Something, something in the eyes. Oh? Is, is that why you hired me? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy loved books. He was older than I, and he always read to me as a child. Ivanhoe, Treasure Island. Boys' books, they were called. Maybe that's the reason I grew up as such a tomboy. Climbing trees, playing ball. <laughs> 
Oh. 9.15. Time to head back. You tell time by the sun? Haven't you heard? I'm a witch. Miss Bennett, I think someone is following us. <laughs> Probably a fan. Once they picked up the scent, they might blood out. Well, should I, should I, should I talk to her? No, 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 no. It only encourages them. Keep up the face. Okay, are you all set? Hurry now, we'll think we'll make our escape. Tuesday morning, like what? Follow Straight ahead, two blocks. Then you go over and go down the bay. Uh, not, not third? Not third. Lake. L-A-K-E. Lake. If I wanted to go down third, I know I'd have said third avenue. I said lake. Full speed ahead. Which way should I turn here? If you don't know where you're going, why? I'm doing my best, Miss Bennett. Don't be so disagreeable. Kids, hurry! Hurry! Come on, please! Emergency! Should I uh, bring it all in? Yes, all of it, yeah. Flour, baking soda, orange juice. Let me check the eggs. We need eggs and Canadian bacon. She's right. She doesn't miss a thing. Uh, Miss Bennett, is there anything else I can pick up for you while I'm at the market? No, I'm sure that whatever Wilma put on the list is just fine. Okay. We'll bring me some ice cream, walnut fudge, and chocolate cookies. Put them in the back of the freezer and make sure that Wilma doesn't catch it. Oh, that looks lovely there. You got a lot of stuff. Large family? No, no, I, I, uh, I work for somebody in the neighborhood. Chauffeur, sort of a uh, personal assistant type of thing. Have we met before? If we had met, I'd remember. Sarah Wells. Grant Landis. Do you want to say something? Standing in front of the ice cream. Oh, <laughs> I need some too. What do you want? Uh, walnut fudge. Thanks. Thanks. Who said that? <laughs> Thanks. No problem. Grant! Grant! Hold on! Hi. What, what are you, following me? Following you? I'm chasing you. I have your walnut fudge, which oh. means you must have my vanilla. Yeah, how did that happen? I don't know. But to tell you the truth, I'm glad it did. <laughs> Who's that? Mary and Bennett? Well, now we know who I am, but who the hell are you? Oh, Sarah Wells. I don't mean to intrude, but may I give you these? Oh, pay the man, will you? I'll square it with you later. 
Queen Anne's lace, stealth, thinium, columbine, beautiful flowers. They're my favorites. A woman with taste. Too many people rely on roses. A show-off flower, but these are absolutely beautiful. This is all my fault. I accept full responsibility for this. I have seen all of your movies. <laughs> huh, that's more than I can say. Much too painful watching oneself fade away on celluloid. The Song of Life with Henry Fonda was my favorite. You are a brilliant actress. I, I, I know how important your privacy is to you, Miss Bennett, but I, I had Nonsense. No... Fonda fascinating. And talented, I... too. I didn't know that you painted. This is Connecticut, isn't it? They missed it, yes. I do not appreciate being the bait for some romantic trap you've said. Is that perfectly clear? Perfectly. But you have a good eye. She's very pretty. <clears throat> there was no bug about Bogey. He was an actor who enjoyed acting. He just did it. Knew it was good. Short, of course. Shorter than you'd imagine. Not not as short as Alan Ladd, but, well, what's the word I'm searching for? Short? Yes, short, exactly. And always on time, like my father. He'd drive off without us if we weren't on time. What do you think of movies today? Well, they seem to do a great deal of acting. It's exhausting. I have to remind them that there's not a Nobel Prize for it, and that Shirley Temple was doing it perfectly well at the age of four. Mm -hmm. I'll be leaving for the night if there's nothing else, Miss Bennett. Go ahead, Wilma. We'll manage from here. Dinner was delicious, Mrs. Neal. <laughs> Why, thank you, dear. Good night, then. Night, night. There's ice cream for dessert. <laughs> Chopin Prelude in D-flat. Don't you love it? You really have the most extraordinary taste. The right music, the right heart, the right flowers. It's almost as if you knew me. Oh, well, how could I? There's been so little written about you. Well, why should anyone want to write about me? Oh, they're interested. Mm, I'm none of their business. Is this George Cukor? Mm-hmm, yes. Brilliant director. Used very shrewdly what I had to offer, my harsh voice, this skinny horse face of mine. Oh, look, Michael Raymond, was he wonderful? <laughs> he certainly thought so. Ego, ego. I don't know him. Romantic lead, war pictures, period pieces. The reviewers said that the love scenes between you and him were some of the best work you've ever done. On-screen magic. <laughs> yes. Well, magic isn't what it used to be. There were rumors that despite the age difference between you and him, there was an off-screen romance as well. Ooh, people say such stupid things. So there was nothing? Well, I'd rather not discuss the man, frankly. It's late, and I'm quite exhausted. If it's something that I said, I'm sorry. Good night. You didn't have to drive me. Well, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's good practice. You probably could have walked here faster. I get so turned around. <laughs> yeah. For a chauffeur, you uh, really don't know your way around very well. Well, you graduate with an English degree. You take what you can get. English? Yeah. I should have guessed. Idealistic, sensitive. You don't have that big city edge. Iowa. That explains a lot. Yeah. Hey, um, could I buy you a drink somewhere? I mean, uh, all this talking tonight, and I, I, I still don't know a thing about you. I thought I talked too much about myself. No, not a word. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So how about that drink? Oh, look at the time. I really got to go. Maybe tomorrow? Sure. Tomorrow's good. Tonight is a night that I will never forget. And I owe that all to you. Oh, well. May I 
help you? Um, I thought Tom was following me, but I guess not. Good evening, Miss Wells. Good evening. Hello? Hello? Sarah? It's me. Did you see her? We spent the entire evening together. She's amazing. She's everything you said in you. She taught Pat and everything in you. Impossible woman. Not impossible. Her chauffeur may be the key. I'll set something up so you can see her. Must I see her? There's absolutely no other way. We've been over this, Michael. Like it or not, this will go a lot easier with Marion's cooperation. I know, I know. But of all the women in the world. I'm back, Miss Bennett. Huh? I didn't expect you for hours. Uh, I don't know what it is. Calculus, Latin, even, even quantum physics, they're all a snap to me compared to women. <laughs> Love is never easy. It's best to forget it. It only gets in the way. In the way of what? Everything. Good morning. Well, well, you're awake. Yes, I am. I wanted to get up before Miss Bennett, show her I could do it. I haven't heard a peep. Have you checked the garden? How early do you have to get up to get the jump on? I'm not sure anyone's ever managed that. It looks like she has company. Breakfast for three, I take it. Sarah. Ice cream? How did that get in the house? Never rely on anyone else to make you happy. That's my belief. Be independent. Be free. You never thought about marriage? <laughs> I have better things to think about and ways to spend my time. Marriage is for fools. Good morning. Oh, hi, Grant. I was dropping off a thank you note when Miss Bennett came out and invited me in. At five in the morning. I'm an early riser. Obviously from good stock. Wilma's preparing breakfast. Oh, I really can't stay. You have somewhere to go at this hour. Of course you'll stay. Only if I can return the favor. There's a seascape exhibit at the museum. Let it be my treat. I never go out in public. It's a damn nuisance. I feel like a national monument on tour. There's an entire room of Winslow Homer. Winslow Homer? He was a great friend of my father's. Supposedly, I'm in one of his paintings. A baby in her father's arms or some such. Well, here's your chance to see. Miss Bennett really isn't quite up to it. <laughs> not up to it? Well, I'll decide what I'm up to, what I'm not up to, and we'll discuss your attitude over breakfast. Isn't it a beauty? All power and fury and nature unbound. Oh Is that Marion Bennett? Are they looking? No, you don't have to tell me. I can feel it. They're just curious. Why all the fuss? Are they surprised that I can still walk or well, simply that I'm alive at all? Uh, Miss Bennett, could I have your autograph? I, I've been a fan for years. <laughs> of what possible use could my name on a piece of paper be to you? Oh, it's a hobby. Collect stamps. Let's try the next room, shall we? Isn't that Michael Raymond? Good grief. Get me out of here. Marion! Marion Bennett! <laughs> A little louder, please. There might be someone in this building who didn't hear you the first time. I can't really believe it's you. Oh, <laughs> what a surprise. What an absolutely 
wonderful surprise. That's right, after all the gods. You look incredible. You've clearly lost your mind. Get away, Grant. Don't just stand there. Uh, Mr. Raymond, Miss Bennett would appreciate it if you would Do just... Do you think this tie really goes with that shirt? What? Oh. <laughs> Can't we go somewhere and talk? Talk all you want, just not with me. I haven't seen you in 50 years. And quite frankly, they've been the best 50 years of my life. Let's go. Uh, I think I'm going to stay in and catch the rest of the exhibit. This isn't going to be easy. <laughs> You're just now realizing that? She's tough. The nerve of that man. He's never been to a museum in his life. He must have been following me all this time. For five decades? It was as planned as the invasion of Normandy. Tea at a time like this. <laughs> Grant! Oh, hey. Scotch and soda. At this hour, Miss Bennett? At this moment. Ah, oh, that girl stayed behind, do you think? Do you think she's involved in this plot? What plot? We're following in the park. You meet this girl the same day she asked about Michael Raymond. And today, here he is, big as life. If that isn't a plot, I'd like to know what it is. I almost choked on my words. What an absolutely wonderful surprise. It was worse than I thought, having to be nice to that, that harpy. You were a little over the top. That's because I know my audience. Marion hasn't a subtle bone in her body. Sarah, can we forget this? There must be some way we can do it uh, without her. Michael. Sarah, I swear, I hate this. <laughs> Let me guess. You recognize me? Who? Yes, yes, I do. But from where? That's so funny. I'm usually really good with faces. Perhaps you're a fan of the cinematic arts. Oh, sure. The Tread Time Tire commercial. You know, you made me believe every moment of that. If I had a car, I would buy those tires. Good luck with the acting. Thank you. In my day, this was a down payment on a house. Let me. No, 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 please. no, I insist. Could you please ring Sarah Wells's room for me? There's no Wells registered. Could it be under something else? Um, she's a beautiful woman, mid-twenties, dark hair, very classy, terrific smile. She sounds like the type that would be staying at the Meridian. The Meridian? It's a five-star place just around the corner. Excuse me, I'm looking for... I'm gonna go call the office. They're probably wondering what happened. Hello. Okay. What's going on? What kind of con are you two pulling? I beg your pardon? Uh, Grant Landis. Mr. Landis, this is Mr. Raymond. I don't believe you were formally introduced this morning. Grant is Miss Bennett's driver. Ah. Uh. She was right, huh? This is, uh, this is all a setup? Oh, I could never keep anything from that woman. Yeah. I think somebody owes me an explanation. Well, we do owe you anything. Well, well, now, Grandfather, let's just not get crazy. Grandfather? He's, he's, he's your grandfather? Yes. I believe that we owe Grant the truth. After all, he does work for Miss Bennett. All right, uh, but someplace else, a little more private. 
Now you've got me into this, what exactly do you expect me to tell the boy? Doesn't matter. I believe anything you say. I never met anyone like him. Mm. Young man, cheers. You know, it's always a mystery to me when people mistrust me. I always played the hero. Studios thought I had an honest face. Mr. Landis, do you think I have an honest face? I'll, 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 I'll wait and, and, and hear what you have to say to me. Oh, cautious, particulars, weighs everything carefully. No wonder Marion hired you. Uh, you don't sound like a Yankee, but you certainly think like one. That must make Mary very happy. <laughs> Sir, could, could we just get on with this, please? Mm. The, uh, the truth? Ah, yes. The truth. My boy, the truth is all around you. It's love, my boy. I'm a wise old man who once was a very foolish boy and let a very precious thing go out of my life. Have you ever been in love? A couple of times. No, then you've never been in love. The real thing only happens once. And that was Marion Bennett for me. The one love of my life. The one love? Yes. The only love. Uh, what, what about Mrs. Raymond? Who? He means grandmother. Oh, well, yes, of course. I was married to Ilsa. I, I met her at the end of the war uh, in a little small nightclub on the coast of Africa. You know, I, I haven't seen a whole lot of old movies, but, 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 but this is starting to sound a bit like Casablanca. You're right, it does, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> well, life is often like the movies, much more often than you think. <laughs> but come on. Casablanca was a, a wonderful picture, wasn't it? Huh? <laughs> Try again. Who was I to know he'd seen that picture? Who hasn't? Sounds like machine gun fire. <laughs> Does Mr. Raymond have anything to do with this mood of yours? Not the slightest. I'm just writing that letter to the editor, then he my anger about the state of things. Things in particular? The state of the world. Bound to be a long letter. Uh -huh. Oh, and such language. The truth is, I've been married three times. The first was Judith, an Olympic ice skater. Oh, she was beautiful, but cold as ice. An occupational hazard, I suppose. Mm. And then there was a... Uh, 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 Amy. Oh. She was the daughter of a pencil tycoon from Des Moines. She thought show business people were glamorous. I suppose, compared to pencils, uh, she had a point. <laughs> Don't forget Granny. Uh... Yes, the cocktail waitress who walked out on me, left me alone with a child, Francesca, Sarah's mother. We two alone against the world. Incredible. Isn't it? Yeah. Well, I brought up a family. I served my heart. Now all I want is a little happiness for myself. Marion Bennett? Huh? Wow. She loved me once, but I, uh, I failed her. All I want before I go is a chance to tell her how I feel. Will you please help an old actor who has nowhere else to turn? Will you help Cupid aim what might be his final arrow? has this, this beach house that um, the, uh, the housekeeper tells me that she goes to uh, every week.
do you, do you hear a ping? A ping? A ping from the engine. Ping, ping, ping. There it is again. What is it? I'm uh, I'm not a mechanic, Miss Bennett. I, I I told you that when you hired me. Remember, you, you said that it that it wasn't going to be a problem. That was before the ping. to be perfect exactly the way she likes it the food the flowers now is there anything that we forgot oh a fire i find the fireplace it's got to be 80 degrees in here summer or winter she likes a fire you know you, no matter how perfect we make this she is going to be furious. Well, you'll have to charm her then, won't you? I'd have more luck with a cobra. You know, Marion's a brawler from way back. She broke my nose once with a well-aimed billiard ball. <laughs> the Dodgers could have used an arm like hers. You're smiling. <laughs> well, I, I hear I had a broken nose and all I could do was laugh. <laughs> the more I laughed, the madder she, <laughs> she got. <laughs> she was there. I held that. Doesn't sound all that bad, your relationship. Well, there were moments. I must admit. There were moments. You never saw her in her heyday. There was an actress in the world who could touch her. For my money, there still isn't. She looks good, doesn't she? Remarkable. After all these years. This is a beautiful place. My father built it. Excellent craftsman. Oh. <laughs> my, my favorite flower, tea, heart, and waiting. Everything just the way I like it. There's a card on the flowers. Read it. Don't be too angry. There's no signature. <laughs> oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Marion, I had to find a way to talk to you. My God, it's an ambush. An ambush. How did you get in? Well, the caretaker, he's a, <laughs> a fan. He's fired. How dare you follow me in with her? She's a little young. Even for you, isn't she, Michael? Well, you see, Sarah is his granddaughter. You knew, too? You were in on all this? Well, not from the beginning, ma'am. What? You're fired, too? I, I want you all out. I better call a cab. A cab? Out here? That'll take forever. I'll go. No, no, no. Oh, no, you're hired again, but only until we get home. <laughs> now, listen, Mr. Raymond talked to me. He explained. Maybe you don't know him well enough. Well enough? I think I know him well enough. I was married to him. You were married? Did I neglect to mention that? Yes. Don't, don't listen to what I have to say. Don't you give me the benefit of a doubt. Don't worry, I won't. Oh, you... Dr. O'Neill, it'll like a flatter her, make nice. She got too much riding on this. She can catch more flies with honey. She's no fly. She's a, a praying mantis. That's what you are, a praying mantis. Oh, oh. I'd, I'd very much like to go now. It won't start. Get out. Get out, look under the hood. What?
Can I help? You've already helped me right into the unemployment line, all right? How could that one little detail about the relationship have slipped your mind? It was a secret. A secret? You expect me to believe that two of the biggest stars of all time were married and nobody knew? The studio wanted them single. And considering the age difference, I mean, even dating was a pretty scandalous concept back then. They eloped to Mexico. The press never found out. And when they got back? Oh, they were divorced by then. It only lasted five days. Five days? Yeah, well, Michael said if it had lasted into a six, one of them wouldn't have made it out alive. He compares it to both world wars. And this is the woman that he wants to see again? Love's a funny thing. Ah, crack distributor cap. Not till morning. That's the best you can do. If I ran my life the way you run your garage, I'd still be doing walk-ons. I'll be in my room. met in a place very much like this. I didn't realize you were lying in wait. Kindly, do not speak. I'm just looking out at the water. Uh, just do as you like. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and I'm going to take it back to my bunker. Where's the damn tea? Malibu, 1943. It was a cocktail party for a sub-picture or another. I can't remember which. Um... Double indemnity. Ah, yes. <laughs> Will you stop helping me? I may be brittle, but I'm not feeble. You're always so damned independent, never thinking of anyone but yourself. Did you ever think about us? I have the occasional nightmare, if that's what you're asking. Having nothing better to do, why don't you just buzz off? I don't need this attitude. You know, coming here was not my idea. Who's then? Sarah's. Uh. I mean, she wants us to, to talk, <laughs> to have another go at it. We, we, we had fun once. I honestly don't remember. Well, the truth is, I miss you. God help us. How many marriages since ours? Three? Four? What can I say? You were impossible to replace. But you kept trying. I was never one to give up without a fight. Oh, well, if it's a fight you're looking for. <laughs> oh, we, we, we had something together, man. You can't deny that. It was never dull. <laughs> Neither is a hurricane. But having been through one, I'll be damned if I'll fly into one again. Mmm, my tea. Have some, if you like. Although, as I recall, you never much cared for tea. I'll take a cup. Taste change, I suppose. We all change in countless ways. Man, man, I am back. <laughs> <laughs> Better late. The never! In your case, better never. Well, this wasn't my ideal job, you know, but, uh, but at least it was something. <laughs> Next time you see me, I'm probably gonna be playing the harmonica on the street for spare change. Well, for what it's worth, I'm sorry. I mean, but if we had told you the truth, you would have said no, and then there would be no chance for them at all. I guess you did what you had to do. Well, I'm, I'm sorry for leaving you on personal you know. There was no excuse for that. You have a boyfriend. You're not dating anyone? No, no, no. Oh. Most of my relationships end up a, a lot like this one. I'm the guy who went to uh, the senior prom with my cousin. Oh. <laughs> he didn't like it any more than I did. <laughs> <laughs> but you have so much going for you. Such as? Such as? See? I mean, look at me. I'm, I'm a guy in my mid-twenties with a college degree, and I'm driving a car for a living. You know? My life has no direction. 
The only reason I wound up in English is because nothing else clicked for me. I have, I have no family out here, no roots, no romantic possibilities. You know? I mean, what exactly do you think that I have going for me? Well, for one thing, you're cute. Yeah. And I mean that it's a compliment. Thank you. This is incredibly awkward all of a sudden. I, uh, <clears throat> I gotta go in. Okay, just the beach and the dock and all this honesty. A little bit more than I can handle. We could sit on the deck. It's a warm evening. Mm -hmm. I prefer to have mine at my room. Are you still going back tomorrow? What do you think? <laughs> Contrary to what you might have hoped, a full moon is not the answer to any of life's more complicated questions. Good night. Look at me. When does it stop, Marion? When does all this fighting end? So you can enjoy the rest of your life. I do enjoy it. Life, Michael. Every day, every hour, every breath of it. And yet you're alone. I enjoy it. Look at me, because I am alone. Catch on. <laughs> What's this? You're leaving? You shouldn't go on an empty stomach. You cook. Remember the last time I cooked for you? <laughs> you never did anything for me. It was always for you. If we slept, it was because you were tired. We ate when you were hungry. I cooked for you the day I proposed. Oh. And you were wearing those slacks you always insisted on, and a, a blouse of uh, white, and a red sweater. Over your shoulders. How on earth do you remember that? And I don't. I was in love with you. Uh, I was pretty in love with myself at the time, too. But I don't recall what I wore and where I wore it. Please. Are you trying to poison me? I'm trying to feed you. You're always ravenous in the mornings. Or has that uh, changed? <laughs> well... Miss Bennett? Miss Bennett, the garage is called and the part is in. This whole thing has turned into such a mess. Grant, there's something that I have to tell you. Yes, well, there's no time now. I've got to find Miss Bennett and get her home and get to the employment office. Looks like she's already up and out now, and with my luck, she's probably walked to town by herself. Wait, I see them. <gasps> what, together? Is there much blood? With the entire world to choose from. Why do you choose here and now? Because I'm curious. I know there was someone after me. An attorney, I heard. I didn't retire to a nunnery, if that's what you mean. Was he, uh, was he, was he special? He was sensitive, charming, very bright. He wanted me desperately, and I used him shamelessly. I was pretty shameless myself once upon a time. A <laughs> terrible scoundrel when he knew me. So full of myself, so in love with the idea of me. I suppose we both were. Oh, old birds will feather. No hope at all of making a marriage work back then. Ah, we were fools. And I cannot oblige fools. Some people think it was a simpler time. It wasn't. <laughs> Relationships were more complicated than we were more complicated then. And you simplified with time. <laughs> Haven't we both? <laughs> Full day without any casualties, huh? What are the odds? You know you're gonna make someone a great little dishwasher someday. <laughs> Thanks. It's amazing what you can do with that uh, English degree. So tell me about this guy that you're seeing. Oh, it's no one, really. Oh, you missed a spot. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'd really like to know about him. Really, there's no one. There's no guy. There's just my work. 25 hours a day, 13 months a year. What is it that, uh, that you do, exactly? And, and where do you do it? What do I do? I, you know, I do this and, you know, that. I, 
I go all over. I go here and there. You ever think your problem might be focus? <laughs> My first real drink since the Nixon years. Everyone drank then. They had to, of course. I feel as if time hasn't passed. Have you looked into a mirror lately? Age is a state of mind. Then I live in a very old state, one of the original 13 colonies. <laughs> Marion, I miss our friendship. I dare you to let me close again. Unfair, unfair. I double dare you. Too many years between then and now, Michael. Well, we don't know, unless we give it an honest try. If honesty is a consideration, there's something you should know, something I should have told you long ago. When you marched out that door and you left me alone in Mexico, I was not entirely alone. I... I knew it. Mm, you knew what? There was someone else all the time. <laughs> there was nothing of the sort. That's why you were so ill, Tim. It's so impossible. You had some star-struck lifeguard waiting out there in the wings. I don't believe what I'm hearing. You admitted it yourself. You were not alone. I wasn't alone. I was pregnant. I was so angry with you, I, I couldn't call, I couldn't write, I couldn't give you the smug satisfaction of a job well done. I didn't know what to do. You should have told me. I, I finally might have, but a few weeks later, the decision was taken out of my hands. I, I miscarried. Marion. I was half never to tell you, but I've lived with it myself all these years. Another loss. My brother, my parents, you, our baby. I vowed never to leave myself open to hurt again. Is that why you didn't marry the right young attorney? <laughs> well, there were two very good reasons for that. He put me on a pedestal. Lovely view from up there, but very lonely. Any other reason? The other reason. He wasn't you. He wasn't you. Marion. Hmm. Let's go back home, huh? Let's go back and have a night on the town. Paint it red, blue, green, <laughs> any color you like. Uh, I know that you are charming me. You are deliberately charming me, and still I'm charmed. You're either sincere or a better actor than I remember. Both. <laughs> Where are you frowning? <laughs> We're on a double date, remember? Huh? Have you told her yet? I uh, tried. No, it's a lie. I, I couldn't. She's more than I expected. So she still thinks I'm your granddaughter. What did I get us into? Well, I'll find a way. I'll, I'll tell her when the time is right. Trust me. Hey. I've always done my own makeup. No one else ever quite knew what to do with this face. <laughs> I've lived with it for so many years, like a picture I painted over and over again. Never getting it quite right, a perfect trust, perfectly adequate. I think you have a lovely face, Miss Bennett. Classic. <laughs> Grisha New Inn, and just as old. It's been such a long time since you've worn your jewelry. It took me a while to find it. It was in the pantry of all places, under the sterling. Jimmy's medals. Oh, how many years now? Fifty, sixty. And I still miss him every day of my life. Your brother would be very proud of you tonight. He complained I was forever in slacks and woolen shirts. So when I dressed up, it was an occasion. And this is an occasion? 
This is very much an occasion. Are they still wearing hats? I've never seen you like this. I've never been like this. Well, <laughs> not for years, anyway. I, I, I feel 70 again. Hi, come on in. Is Mary ready? Oh, will she be late? She's right on time. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Let's go. Your Majesty. You made me love you. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. You made me love you. And all the time you knew it. I bet you always knew it. You made me happy sometimes. You made me glad. But there were times, dear, you made me feel so bad. I didn't want to tell you. I had to play the piano once. In a movie, I faked it, of course, but even that was tough. <laughs> I never liked to see my hands going up the scale when the music was going down the scale. <laughs> listen, listen to what he's playing. Well, it's just an old song. No, it's our old song. We were not together long enough to have a song. You've just forgotten. You Listen. know you made me love you. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the band on our wedding night. You hired them to serenade us. They played for hours. We got no sleep at all. That wasn't because of the music. How well I remember. They don't make them like that anymore, huh? They never did. Those two made themselves. You're a bit like them, you know? Independent and driven. Alone. I mean, to be successful, you have to set priorities. You know, you gotta give up something. I mean, I would love a relationship, right? But now's not the time. We well, also need to decide on what you mean by success. My dad's got a small uh, hardware store back home. He's got no money to speak of. But everybody in the town just loves him. And to see him look at my mom... You just don't see love like that much anymore. To me, that's success. You never did a musical, did you? Only one. <laughs> I remember running into Brenda Baxter one evening after she'd seen that picture. Did, did, did you do your own singing? Yes, yes, Brenda, I did. Terribly flattered I was. And she looked at me and she replied, well, I think you should do something. <laughs> <laughs> really? Mr. Raven? Yes? I'm terribly sorry, but there's been a problem with your credit card. What sort of problem? It was refused. Oh. Oh, wait, yeah. That happens to me all the time. <laughs> well, it would, I'm sure, if I went out at all, if I mm. ever bought anything. Here you go. Do you still recognize odd currency? Mm. Marion, please, I, I, I just couldn't. You didn't ask. I offered. Take this. Do you believe that? Do you believe that, that she went up to his room with him? And what did she mean by, I'll call you if I need you? She meant that we had the night off. Any suggestions? I really, I hadn't thought... There again, I, I, I guess I could come up with something. 
some uh, champagne? I wouldn't say no. I won't be a moment. <laughs> You're obviously doing well to afford an apartment like this. Not bad. Well, well. Architecture today. Living on the roller coaster by Michael Raymond. Living on the roller coaster. Only we could ride. What the hell is this? All I'm asking for is a simple bottle of champagne. Fine, fine. Whatever you have to do. But quickly, please. Yes. Yes, I'll hold. Five days in hell. My secret life with Marion Bennett. Oh, what a pig! There was some confusion with room service, but they said that they'd... Uh... I don't care what they said. I care what you've said in print. Well, where did you find this? In plain sight, under a magazine and a paperweight. I've been meaning to bring this up. Uh. <laughs> They're my memoirs. A few memoirs of my own seem to have slipped in with yours. Well, it's only a rough draft. And... Three entire chapters about her. Five days in hell. Should I hold my breath for the polished version? Will you please let me explain? You see... My private thoughts are secrets I shared with you. They're all in there. You've avoided yourself by my, my firing squad. And I've just spent the weekend giving you ammunition. I'll be the laughing stock of the whole country. Marion, everyone is writing these things. That may be true, but if you go ahead with this, if you publish this, this bunk, then you're not everyone. You're not anyone to me. Hey, come on, you can't walk out. You've got to hear my side of this. Please, yes, I'm come on, come on. My stick, where's my right stick? Right here, right here. I can't walk without my stick. Yes. Look at that. Johnny, but you've been the This is my side. Oh, they offered me a lot of money. Oh. Champagne for one, then? Yes. Uh, May we get you a car, Miss Bennett? May you what? May we get you a car, Miss Oh, Ms. no, no, no. I'm too angry to wait. I'll walk. <laughs> My purse. Oh, we should get back with If Miss Bennett caught me doing this, she'd kill me. She hates anyone touching her fireplace. Are you warm enough? Are you cool enough? I'm fine. Okay, because I could turn up the air conditioning. Oh, look at this. Air conditioning and the fire. She, she's got me doing it now. You're a little nervous. Why don't you just... Leave it alone. Okay. All right. Mm. Come sit by me. All right. A little closer. <laughs> okay. You can't be this shy. Uh, yes, yes. Yes, I can. This is, uh, this is not something that I do every day. It's actually nothing that I do any day. <laughs> I've never dated anyone like you. You should be in a zoo or something, an endangered species. In a world full of these Arnold Schwarzeneggers, you're, you're like Jimmy Stewart. Oh. And women hate that. Oh, not all women. Hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, my what? God. It's Miss Bennett. How do you know? I've always found that by asking what's the worst thing that could possibly happen, I can predict the future with incredible accuracy. Okay. Oh. And what am I forgetting? I'm forgetting something. The doorbell. Yes? Mr. Raymond. I, uh, I have to see her. Why aren't you at the hotel? Is she really angry? Oh. Marion. She's not here. You're a very loyal employee, Grant, but I, I have to explain. Marion? No, no, she, she, she's really not here. Marion! Uh, Grant is telling the truth, Michael. She's not here. Well, she left the hotel an hour ago. An hour ago? I, I dropped you off an hour ago. We had a falling out. She stormed out into the night. Left her purse, her, her money, and her ID. Oh, my God. Well, if she's not there and she's not here, then where is she? Yes, yes, you're right. 
would very like you and I. Get up and go when someone snaps the reins. Do the job. Then go home. <laughs> Until the next time they trot us out. <laughs> but you, you're luckier than I. You haven't been married. <laughs> or have you? Have you? Maybe there's a Michael Raymond in your life, too. God help you. Mm. What I ever saw in that man, I will never know. And this is what gets you alone and exhausted with no money, even for a taxi home. Where could she have gone? Does she have any friends? None that she likes. She was in the mood, with every right. What happened? She found the book. She found the book? Our book. My autobiography. Grant, um, I work for Huntley House, the publishers. Michael and I are business associates. I'm, I'm not really his granddaughter. Not his granddaughter? I was going to tell you tonight. When? After you got everything that you needed from Miss Bennett? What all does this book cover? Everything. And they weren't going to publish it unless Michael could get Marion's cooperation, some objective proof that the marriage took place. Well, I, I wouldn't hold my breath on that one. Everyone in the world knows the way she feels about marriage, and, and you two are going to say that that's a lie? I think we should call the police. Not yet. She hates publicity. We'll go out there and look for her ourselves. We'll trace the routes from the hotel to here. Do you have any idea how many possible street combinations that involves? Well, can't just sit here. Say, where's your owner? <laughs> Has it just gone off and left you alone here? Yeah. I used to be quite a horsewoman. Did you know that? I even made a western. Got to shoot a rifle. Rope a cow. <clears throat> I don't suppose you saw it. <laughs> John Wayne was an amazing character. He was a, he was a good actor. An enormous man. Tiny feet. <laughs> Have you been to the East Bay? Lovely part of town. Lovely. Mm. Hey! Hey! Come back with that horse! Police! Police! Sounds as if someone's in trouble. and a left, or is it two lefts and a right? Neglected, he needed the exercise. You're lucky it wasn't me, not a common horse thief. Can I see your license, ma'am? License? You need a license to drive a horse now? Get down, get down from there. Oh, shut up. I'll pay you for your horse. Ma'am, the license. Oh, <laughs> well, I, I seem to have left my purse at the hotel. We're very sure. Would you get down, please? We need to take a little ride downtown. My taxes pay for your salaries, which makes me your employer. And as your employer, I say, you take me home now. Now. I don't care who you are. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. Stop it. Look, it's, it's my old lady. Get away! 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 Are these the best accommodations you can offer? Sorry, the penthouse is occupied at the moment. If there's an opening, we'll call. No need for sarcasm. <sighs> oh. Isn't that... Couldn't be. I don't know, ask her. Hey, 
Aren't you Marion Bennett? I was once. Now it's anyone's guess. Nothing. It wasn't my intention to hurt her, but Grant, I do need the money. Well, if you need the money, then why don't you just publish the book without the chapters on the marriage? Those chapters are the only reason my company is interested, okay? And you can live with that, knowing what it'll do to her. I mean, where does this fascination with the sordid details... No, 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 it wasn't sordid. It was actually marvelous. It's just a book, Grant, okay? A book. Yeah, well, somehow I don't think Miss Bennett sees it that way, you know? Are you calling the police? No, I'm calling the housekeeper, just in case. See if she's checked in, you know? Hi, Wilma, it's Grant. Listen, I know it's... Thank God, is she with you? No, but I just this moment got off the phone with her. Well, why didn't she call me? What? Where is she? You won't believe it. I certainly don't. In jail. In jail? 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 So what did they lock you up for? I believe the charge is rustling. Who? Get you! <laughs> oh, and possibly assault and battery wasn't clear. And uh, what, may I ask, are you two ladies in for? Entertaining. <laughs> uh, it's been a critical to who wanted to lock me up for that. <laughs> so what did this guy do? The one you assaulted and battered. He was an officer of the law, the one I should have assaulted and battered, as you put it. He was guilty of a far more heinous crime. What'd he do? Well, I'd um, rather not discuss it. She's right in here, Mr. Raymond. Michael Raymond? Latrice, that's Michael Raymond. Is there no end to this nightmare? Why didn't you call someone sooner? There was a long line at the payphone. If this is who's come for me, I'd rather stay behind bars. You should be grateful. Your friend here talked the horse's owner out of pressing formal charges. But I'm guilty of sin. I'm a menace to society, and I shouldn't be roaming the streets. Where's Grant? He wanted to come, but it's my fault that you're here, and it's my job to get you out. A one-man salvation army? Well, I don't need you. You need someone, and right now, I'm all you've got. Look, lady, you're free to go, and frankly, we need the room. You do something. Come on. Ah! Put me down! Shut up, or I will put you down! I hurt you in that shot. Put me down. Put me down. I'll call the police. Thank you, thank you very much. Rest this round. Come on, rest me, rest me. We'll stay in jail here. Well, I won't be with you. Fine, thank you. Shoes. Get my shoes. Get my shoes. Good morning, Grant. Good morning. Miss Bennett didn't pick up the newspaper this morning. She's still in bed. At this hour? Miss Bennett? Come in. Are you up? I'm up. I thought you might like breakfast in your room for a change. Uh, um, nothing this morning, thank you. Are you feeling all right? I'll be down later. About last night. We will never speak of last night again, Roma. Never. Oh, it's 11 o'clock, and Philip Gordon is not used to being kept waiting. My heart isn't in this. Your heart is not what they are interested in. Now, I've made some notes on the final chapters, a little punch, a little focus, so you can look them over in the cab. Man won't take my calls. Michael, this is business. And this may be your last chance with them, okay? Well, from the look on your face, the news isn't so good. It's a job offer. Oh? Yeah, teaching position. Well, that's what you wanted, isn't it? Yeah, it's in Arizona, and it's for less than I'd hoped, but it's what I studied for. What do I do?
We've given you all the cash advances we're willing to make. Mr. Raymond, all we're asking now is an answer. Yes or no. Will you sign the contract allowing us to publish this book or not? I don't know. Michael. You know, Marion has a point. What gives the rest of the world the right to know the intimate details of our private lives? I mean, married or not. The damage is already done, Michael. We don't need her permission. I've heard her admit the truth. She's seen the chapters. But no one else has yet. You know, it's not in the window of Brentano's. It's not on the shelves of the public library. It's not even in paperback for light summer reading. Uh, Mr. Gordon, there's still time to stop it. Let me be particularly blunt, Mr. Raymond. The life of a star whose career tumbled to 3D horror flicks has its limited <sighs> interest, but what the public will buy, what the public wants to read, is about your marriage to Marion Bennett. Yes, I... I, I realize that. It is, in fact, the reason we're in business with you to begin with. Look, I know the studios aren't knocking the doors down to get to you. You need the money, and, well, let's face it, you're not the man you once were. I'm not... What? What? Michael! Michael! What do you mean by that? Or look at the man who's lost it! Michael, get down from there! He's gone mad! On guard, Mr. Gordon! Pick up a sword! Let's see who's the better man! Michael, ah. you're crazy! Get down from ah. there! He's out of his mind! Ah. Barbara! Are you calling? Call security! Ah. There is no reason to call security. The man's just making a point. Ah. Does this look like the footwork of a man who's unsure of himself? I did this 40 years ago, and I fight the banker! on a temple wall. That was your stunt temple, Michael. Read your book! I could have done it myself. I can still. Not the man I was, indeed. I can still dazzle. <laughs> When it comes to this job offer, you have to do what you have to do. Me, I came to work for Miss Bennett 25 years ago this November. The hours are crazy, that woman's impossible, and the pay isn't much. Mm. Why do you stay? Because she's a good person. Gruff on the outside, but where it counts, she's the best I ever met. Yeah. You're not making this decision any easier on me, Wilma, you know that? I wasn't trying to. Good morning, Miss Bennett. It's Tuesday. We're going for a hike in the park? And I don't feel up to it today. Looking for inspiration? I'm... I'm sorry. I meant to... I was trying to do a portrait of Jimmy and for the first time. I... I can't see his face. I can't remember his voice. He's just... gone. Wilma tells me you have a job offer. Well, she shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Why? So I could wake up some morning and find you'd left me. Are you going to take the job? I'm not sure. Well, you can't be hanging around here basking in my great good humor. And if you're hoping for a raise... Actually, I, I thought that, that you'd be interested in an article in this morning's paper. Mr. Raymond is in the hospital. Well, I wish I could feel sorry for him, but I can't work up the energy. If you'll forgive me... What is it? If after a comment... Fire away. Well, it's, it's just that, uh, that maybe you can't feel sorry for him because you're too busy feeling sorry for yourself. Who the hell are you to talk to me this way? If, uh, if you won't listen to me, Miss Bennett, then why don't you listen to them? Huh? And what would they say if they saw you this way? 
Well, they're gone. <laughs> All of them. Well, people leave, Miss Bennett. Well, it's a fact of life. Some people die, some walk out, some are pushed away, but we go on. Are, are you familiar with George Bernard Shaw? Uh, we weren't contemporaries, if that's what you mean. This is the true joy in life. The being used for a purpose, recognized by yourself as a mighty one. The being a force of nature, instead of complaining that the world will not devote itself to making you happy. That was my mother's philosophy. You see, no one ever leaves completely. Well. Hard to find you in bed alone. Would want me in this condition. Let's face it, the number of those who would want us in any condition is diminishing daily. I heard what happened to your leg, damn foolish of you. I was trying to prove a point. I would say that the point proved too much for you. Smug as ever. I've forgotten a blasted smug you can be. Me? Smug? Contrary to your opinion of yourself, you were not <laughs> perfect. I never claimed to be unlike yourself. God's gift be movies. <laughs> Why did I come here in the first place? I'd like to know the answer to that myself. <laughs> I guess it was to see that you're all right, but I see that you were worse than ever. <laughs> A pity visit. I don't need that. You have the most annoying habit of twisting my words like circus balloons. Then say what you mean. All right, all right. You've had some bad luck. We all have from time to time, but we like those salmon. Either get up the river or don't get up the river. You and I, we've always been strong swimmers. So get out of that bed and get your life together. Are you finished? Quite. Then I have a gift for you. Over here, top drawer. Your book? The only copy I have. It's yours. <laughs> to what purpose? Do whatever you want with it. Read it, burn it, rat fish in it. I realize you're more important to me than any book. It's my decision. Yep. Hmm. This is the first noble thing you've done since I've known you. A little ink and paper? No, no great loss. But without this, what would you do for money? Well, I'll find something. By the way, I'm taking the train to Los Angeles in the morning. Time to see the country, put things in perspective. Will you be back? I don't know. But man, it was good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. I, uh, I had to tell you that. Thank you. Yes, what is it? Well, it's what you said, what you reminded me of. When? Well, yesterday, some die, some leave, and some are pushed away. Well, you can't do that. 
You can't just push people away to keep from being hurt. What kind of life is that? Never taking chances. I don't know. It's no life at all, or we have to stop asking why and start asking why not? Why not? Bring the car around. Nice pajamas. The coast line stops in Portland, San Francisco and Los Angeles. Parting on track box. All set? All set. I hope you're not too disappointed about the book. There'll be others. I have no doubt. <laughs> and Grant? There'll be others. <laughs> Sir, so, um, some advice from an old man? You're not an old oh, man. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Take your work seriously, but take your fun seriously, too. That's what keeps the balance. That's important. Live a good life. Won't you hurry? Step on it, man. What's that car? It's trying to cut in. Don't we'll let him. Can't you go any faster? I'm doing my best, Miss Bennett. <laughs> Westfield local from Harrison, Westfield, Manning, and Oak Park. Los Angeles. Long trip. I'm in no hurry. Sarah, do you know if Mr. Raymond's train has left yet? Uh, no, it hasn't. Track five. Uh, Grant, can I talk to you for a second? I, I can certainly find track five. Go ahead. Okay. Are you okay? Don't worry about me. What's important is that she's okay. You've every right to be angry with me. Oh, no. You were just doing your job, and your work is your life, so... Not anymore. Quit. As much as I tried to convince myself that profit was more important than people, I couldn't buy it. Wow. And you just left? Can't be more surprised than I was. And it's all your fault. And I wanted to say thank you. All right. So where does this leave you? Well, I got a, an interview with a new company next week. Children's books. Less pressure, more rewarding. And I may even have some time for a personal life. That's risky, but I... But what's life without a risk or two? I, uh, I got a job offer in Arizona. Uh -huh. But I decided that my work uh, is not finished here. Miss Bennett may not know it, and uh, she probably wouldn't admit it even if she did, but, but she needs me, so... So you're here. Yeah. And I'm here. Yeah. Here we are. Let's start over again, huh? From the top. Okay. Maybe over a cup of coffee. Okay. You buy, though. You owe me. I owe you. Yeah. This is the final call. Final announcement from track five for the Coastliner with stops in Portland, San Francisco, and Los Angeles. Porter, there's two more. What are you doing here? I burned your book. You what? I burned your book. And you came all this way just to tell me that? I came to tell you that I don't think you should go yet. I'm gonna be pulling out in just I'll a minute, right Mr. There, Raymond. I'll be right there. Why not? Because it was a good book, Michael. Well written in places, even amusing. You have to write another one. Oh, what? About your life and your movies. About the people you knew there are. Other publishers, they'd be fools not to take it. To hell with a book. Marion. What about us? I'm not entirely sure that story is finished yet. healthy to keep all that tooth bottled up forever, but surely you can find a more delicate way of putting it. Miriam. Sit down. I want to 
to say something? You are a wonder. <laughs> yes, I, I am. <laughs> and by the way, you got the name of that Mexican resort oh. I did not. And we took that side trip the second day, not the third. Oh, to the pyramids? It was the third day because by the way, you had a cold as the second day. I was correct as it was. <laughs> you could really use an answer, you know. But it would be me. You take the fun out of everything. Thank you, but you always did. I could be as spontaneous as the next person. <laughs> could you? Yes, I could. I posed naked when I was a girl. Did you know that?